What does this sea bag, this powder horn, and this pocketbook have in common? They all belong to USS Constitution gunner John Lord. Lord joined the Navy during the War of 1812 and was appointed a gunner in 1817. As a gunner, he was responsible for leading a team of other sailors while loading and firing a cannon. He served on USS Constitution from 1824 to 1828 during Constitution's cruise of the Mediterranean. We could determine the original owner of these items because of Lord's personalized drawing that he hand drew or carved on all of his belongings. Lord's drawing is composed of a gun, otherwise known as a cannon, crisscrossing an anchor and a pile of cannonballs at the bottom center of the tube. At the top of the drawing is the name J. Lord, and under the drawing are the initials of the U.S. Navy, USN. We can assume this design marked Lord's personal property by preventing others from taking or using his items. The modern day equivalent would be putting your name on your lunch to keep people from taking it out of a communal fridge at work or writing your name on a pencil box at school. Much of what we know of Lord is in part to the belongings we could trace back to him. It is remarkably rare for items of someone of Lord's social and economic status to be preserved along with the owner's name, but through his art, Lord literally etched himself into history.